YouTube and let's go make another political vlog. It's, it's more of an idea of what's to come in the future. For example, one of the big deals in democratic politics is climate change, something that has been fought against very heavily by oil companies and fracking. For those who are climate change deniers, I would like to point out that nine of the last ten years have been hottest years on record. What that means is that over the course of the year, the average temperature was higher than normal to such a degree that it broke records somewhere along the way. It maybe it was the fifth hottest or the first hottest. It was in the top ten. Also, there are many studies out that show that the Dust Bowl was nowhere near as hot as it is now. We think it was, but we weren't there. The Dust Bowl, when fields upon fields, farmers watched turn to dust, which is why it was aptly named the Dust Bowl. The reason we don't have another desert like that right now is because we have better farming methods than we did then. Soil was weak, where it is now strong. Now, the interesting thing about climate change is a lot of people look at it and say weather. It's snowing today. There's no way it's real. Usually we get snow once or twice a year, right? And again, let's talk about the state of Texas. It's actually the DFW area. Now, in the DFW area, we have not had snow in the last couple of years. I think about the last five or six. Not since my little brother was three. He's seven. That's four years. Not since President Obama's start of his second term. No. And Four years, the state of Texas has had mild 70 degree weather all winter. What that means is that when it gets wet, it gets very soggy. And during the spring, when everything starts coming back, we have major problems with mosquitoes. And sorry about that. <laughs> A lot of nervous energy. is over decades, decades or centuries of weather patterns. They're studied for long, long periods of time. And what has been found is that because of all the carbon dioxide that keeps being floated up in the atmosphere, having a greenhouse effect. There's a video that I'm going to link to in the description in which NASA explains this phenomenon and goes and shows it on their radar images. It's really interesting to watch. It really was cool. Um, I would highly recommend you watch the whole thing, obviously. But back to the point. During the last 10 years were the hottest years on record. On top of that, it's hotter now than it was in the Bowl, just from day to day. From day to day, average temperature is higher than it was during the dust bowl, where entire farms were turned to dust by the lack of decent farming practices and the sheer heat. Better than it was then, obviously, our farming practices are better because our fields aren't dust. But also, is a very bad sign for them to come. The uh, predicted expiration date, if we keep this track, is 2050. 2050. 
all of you having kids right now, let's say you had a kid right now, today, is 2016. 2050 is 34 years away. How much of a life is that kid gonna have? If the world ends in 2050. Granted, it won't be fast. Hopefully, alive at that point in time will be a lot of suffering. So we're gonna see a lot of suffering. You know what? I've almost resigned to that fact. You know why? Because there's still time to change it. We can lessen our impact now. But that's not what I'm trying to do in this video. What I'm trying to do is that is a big example of what I will be doing in future political vlogs. It is not necessarily trying to sway people, but giving people my point of view as a liberal and why I believe it. What are the facts? I believe it. What kind of talking points will I be using? Now, I know this is a very short video. I will be posting another video. Um, also this weekend. Next weekend. I have a lot of personal stuff going on this weekend. Um, you'll probably end up seeing some, but there's only playing games with a friend of mine. It will be me and Dean. Um, his username is Judo Flame. So, but, again, I mean, what it comes down to is... I want to get my point of view out there. I want to let my point of view be known. I'm more of a libertarian. I don't care as much about the things that people have to say from a um, social standpoint, from a science standpoint. For example, I believe they should not be teaching religion in any form or fashion in public schools. That means creationism should not be taught in public schools because it deals with God. I call it science. Because it deals with God. You cannot call it science because it deals with miracles of any kind. God, when you talk about him, some of the things that happen, that's called miracle work. And guess what? Science does not believe in miracles. When science says there's a 1 in 300 chance, it means there's a 1 in 300 chance. It means this can happen will happen only once out of 300 times. So they don't know if it will or will not happen, but they know it is extremely unlikely. <clears throat> that is a scientific miracle for all of going in your favor. Not these miracles like walking on water. The human body is not allowed to walk on water in many scientific ways he could have done it. And it looked like he did it without him ever doing it. Now, that's all for this political slash scientific vlog. If uh, you liked it, I don't know if I would think you would. But if you did, leave a like. And, uh, be doing more of these for sure. Hello.